so tonight I'm going to bring to you my process video for the Secret Not Secret Kit Club uh, Telephone Hop Take 3. This is the third time we're doing this and I received, I'm third in line and I received this layout from Alyssa um, which is beautiful uh, colors and everything that I love. Um, I have done this uh, band design two times for the Telephone Hop so I decided that I was going to turn it this way. Um, I also received my daughter's senior pictures uh, the day that I got that. And I wanted to work with this new day, uh, Dear Lizzie. So first off, um, I noticed I wanted to share with you, when you get your paper pads, you know, I always check what's on the paper pads because this is an awesome layout. And then um, on the back, this can be stretched to a 12 by 12 layout. You can add a picture to it and then put this down with the flowers and that would make an awesome layout for a 12 by 12. Um, just wanted to share that with you. So, uh, dear Lizzie, new day. And since Alyssa gave me the stripes, um, I went with this paper, which is kind of stripey. Um, Sorry, Christy, that I went this route. Um, it's not very uh, as colorful, but um, I wanted to, I thought that the messages were good on here and I wanted to challenge myself to use this piece of paper. So I knew I was gonna cut it down and I found this piece of paper here laying on my desk and I thought, oh, okay, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna use this um, along with it. And I had the white background and I was like, yeah, that doesn't work for me. So what I did is I was like, oh, let's go off white. And I tried the off white and I felt, meh, it's all right. It didn't speak to me. So then I went and I figured I would try a different neutral. So I went with this brown and I thought that that mixed the two of the white and the um, off-white pretty good. And now I know my lines are going the wrong way here. I'm going to be covering it up. But I um, like this um, flower pattern on the bottom. So as you can see, uh, she has some florals around and then she has this pink stripe. I wanted to add some gold in because I'm gonna use this start that she has in there. Um, so I took my Creative Memories Border Punch, which I love. It really does add texture. And I used, I don't know if you can see it, uh, the it's like a backward scallop. And I found some glitter paper, and I cut that out. And I'm going to put that down here on the bottom. And I cut out another, uh, uh, no, I did not. I only cut out one. And then I cut this strip off because I thought it would be too much, too princessy, um, which isn't my daughter. So then this is one of her senior pictures. This is the one that she's using for her yearbook. So I thought that I would place it here because in Alyssa's um, layout, she has two pictures side by side. I am not going to put another picture there because I have all these senior pictures. I'm going to do a pocket page um, and talk about her senior year on the second page. But um, so I went and I got a Project Life card. I cut it down a little bit because it was uh, overtaking the picture. So that's kind of my process there. Um, like I said, I was going to use the start. Um, and I think that my title is going to be something like start of a new adventure or the start. Um, of the beginning, some, something like that. I'm not sure yet. I'm not there yet. Um, and then I went in and I found some bits and bobs and pieces and, you know, I'm going to scatter them. I know for sure that's going to be there. Um, these are chipboard and I might peel off the back to make them a little thinner. Um, and I I could put that up there. Um, and then I found all these little, little ones that I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to scatter throughout the pages, but not cover up the words. Oh, and I had these glasses because she wears glasses. Um, so maybe I'll put that like there. Um, and then I found these mushrooms. I don't know why I'm putting them on the page, but they looked cute. And uh, I don't know what I would use them for. So they're going to go on this page. And they're going to look awesome. So there's that. And I found some hearts that I'm going to throw on there. 
Let's see what else. Um, oh, here. Then I found this old endings, new beginnings. So maybe that's what I was going to do. Start of a new beginning. Um, because it is. It's her senior year. She's applying for colleges. This is just the beginning um, of her college career because uh, they're, they're doing so much uh, this semester in regards to that. Um, so then I also thought that I would use this uh, Studio Calico. It was in my mashup kit that I could use it for the word beginning. Um, what else did I pull out here? And I have some enamel dots. These are from Jelly Bean Soup. And pulled out some more. I'm not sure how this is all going to lay down, but that's my process. It's going to be a pretty easy page, but um, I think that I'm kind of holding true to the stripes and the gold. So I added the gold because if you can see, there's gold in between each stripe. So that's why I brought in the gold. I have the title. Um, I do have florals. So it's it's not as bright. Um, it's going a different way. But I'm very excited how this page is coming out. And I will be back with my finished page. So I am back with my finished page. Here's my scrap lift from Alyssa. Um, and as I explained in my opening video, I'm using this page right, because I wanted to stretch myself. Um, it does have the stripes in it. Um, I did use the same gold start that she had in hers. Um, let's see, what else was there that, oh, the gold stripes. Um, I used that. I used I didn't use two pictures, but I used my uh, journaling block and my picture and then some bits and bobs. So as I, I explained that I was going to make this a two page layout. Let's see if I can get this both on here. So what I did is these are the pictures of my daughter. Um, so she went to her photo shoot for her senior pictures and they take uh, headshots for the yearbook. So these are the pictures that they took for the yearbook. This is the one that's going in the yearbook, and I wanted to scrapbook uh, the four other ones that they took. And so I thought that what I would do is I would take the 6x6 paper pad for New Day, and then I took uh, a sheet of the butterflies, the pink geometrics, and then this beautiful uh, dark pink with gold in it. It's, it's I don't know if you can see it or not. The lighting's pretty bad tonight here. But, um, and then I did a stripe and a stripe. I cut it, obviously, and just tucked it in there. Um, added some uh, Wasi tape to the pictures because it needed something. Did my Border Punch uh, Creative Memories notebook. Put Class of 2020. And then this side, um, I pulled these out. Uh, these are chipboard out of my mashup kit. And this is just stuff that I've had laying around that I've wanted to use, like this authentic. I cut that out a year ago and I haven't used it. I've had these tags. So I just kind of put all these bits and bobs and pieces together um, in a little kit that I'm using with my mashup kit. And that's where I went to find this. Uh, the different things to to put on it so I have this little box of just all different things with lettering um, that I keep all of it in and I keep trying to pull out of it and use that first so this is some chipboard this is for my mashup kit these are a uh, little studio calico uh, chipboards frame this was just a remnant from my 6x6 paper class that I did for RTS. It was sitting on my desk. I put it on there. I used that green from the branding strip from um, this paper right here. So uh, I thought that that would look really good together. I tried doing different things with this. Um, like I moved this, I don't journaling piece. Um, I had it in the middle, and then I have pictures over here. I tried it over here with the pictures over here, and it seemed like this worked the best. I also had it um, going this way as well. Um, but since my title said start of a new beginning, I felt that the start should be over here. Um, so I'm really happy how this came out with the clustering and the thread. Um, and I used that Studio Calico 
uh, start of a new beginning. I did take some of the chipboard off of the little frame here and the little chickadee because it would have been it would have stayed up too high because I had chipboard on chipboard. Um, and then I put just some little bobs in between the words. Uh, this is old chipboard that I had in my stash. Did a little cluster down here. Um, I'm sure I'm going to put something here, uh, a little saying or something, love you or the date or, you know, maybe picture perfect, something um, small right there. I haven't decided yet. And then I'm going to journal here as well as here. And I'm going to do uh, a two-page spread for each different outfit that she uh, received pictures on. So that way when I do this, I'll be able to flip this. The other pictures from the next outfit will be here and then I'll do the traditional um, 12 by 12 layout. So I'll probably have, I don't know, eight pages, you know, four different two page layouts with the, the different photos. Um, so kind of exciting to do this that I because I got all the proofs um, without the uh, logo on of the uh, photography place. So that's my goal for her senior pictures and I hope you enjoyed my layout. Christy, I hope you're doing okay with my my uh, paper that I picked. I know I was trying to stretch myself but I hope that uh, that did not hinder you and I hope you hop along and watch all of the um, layouts because it's a wonderful group of ladies who are very talented and uh, I draw a lot of inspiration from them. So thank you for, if you have subscribed, thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, and I hope that I was able to inspire you in some small creative way today. Have a great one. Bye-bye.